Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tiger Swan, and welcome back to Minecraft with me and myself. And I, this is episode number eight of our Minecraft adventure. I hope you guys are having a good day today, and let's get started. So, basically, in the last episode, what we did, we made a sugar cane farm that is working pretty darn great. Cat, um, we've got 22 sugar canes so far. Which is not quite enough, and yeah, we've got some work that I have done here. So, basically, in JC Plays video, JC Plays new video, what he made was this nice little, like, AFK fish farm. So, basically, I went ahead and made it, except I made it in ground, which was a little hard, but it's done, and it's here. <sighs> yeah, and like, I did a couple test runs, and yeah, it's, it's getting a little sick. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to, before I do anything, I'm just gonna, yeah, that was a mistake. It's gonna just respawn here, but that's fine. So, yeah, it's been pretty nice. I will AFK here every once in a while to get some XP. Because, yeah, it's decent XP source. And I've also added a little glass barrier over here to make sure that, like, no, like, creatures get in. But creatures can get in. Because, yeah, that happens. And, yeah, this is basically little pond that we'll have where we can AFK fish. So, in this episode, what I'm planning on doing is, since I have all of the villagers of the entire village in this similar space, I think that it's time that we build a wall around our little area. Because the village over there, it's useless. We're not using that village over there. Okay. What are we going to do with this netlet? I mean, I'll have the doors open. If you want, or, yeah, he can just wander around. So I was mining a little bit. And the cobblestone that I got is upstairs. So basically, I have quite a lot of cobblestone. So I think that I'm going to make a nice cobblestone wall all around our area. Mm. Yeah. I have like two stacks, no, three stacks of cobblestone. Actually, more like four stacks total, but yeah. You get the picture. And eventually, with this villager breeder, we will have a massive, like, trading area. But enough of that for now. I think that, hmm, what should we do now? Yeah, we're gonna have this place in walls, so I think that, yeah, this, I need like at least two stacks, I'll start with those, and then I'll work my way up to like, three stacks if we need that much. So, let's do this. Hopefully we can get this villager in. If not, well, that sucks. And I will be right back. Alright guys, I am back and this is what two stacks of walls get you. I mean, it got us most way around, but not quite. So I think that another stack of walls should do the trick. If not, we can always make some more walls. Mm. Yep. So I will be right back again. Uh -huh. Alright guys, I am back and we are completely surrounded by a nice cobblestone wall. We are safe 
from any monsters and yeah it's pretty nice to be honest we have complete protection the villagers can't get out so yeah it's it's pretty nice it's, it's pretty great so yeah still 22 but that's good i mean i feel like as for the farm we can always like expand vertically make a vertical farm and we can always expand the wall when we need new territory and my infinite water source is just a little awkward and that's not so yeah this place is looking pretty nice what's with all the bubbles oh it's the chicken so i thought that why not show you guys this great fishing technique thing in action so we're gonna just do a couple fishing things the fishing rod for maybe five yeah we'll do five so i'm not my hands are like off the keyboard and i'm just waiting i'm just waiting throughout the mouse as well and as soon as i get a hold of something it will see it's pretty great and if it ever goes into the lava it will also automatically and whenever it automatically retracts, that means it doesn't use up durability. So basically, we can have this fishing rod forever until we get a really good fishing rod. Then we'll just, you know, use that fishing rod. Yeah. I think we'll level 20. Like, fishing is a great source of XP. So I think that I will get an auto clipper and we can some of the stuff that we got. Yeah, it's mainly just cod and salmon. We also got a water bottle, which I don't know what we're going to that for. But, see, like, if we accidentally throw it into the lava, then it's okay because, you know, it just automatically retracts it. So, it's great. So, we could just use this fishing rod and block the sea. Cause like, but it would actually work because, no, it wouldn't be an unless it's like this. If it's like this as an autoclicker, then that would be actually pretty convenient. And we might be doing that. So. But we don't get to launch it. So I don't think that auto clickers would work. Ooh, puffer fish. That's pretty cool. I mean sometimes the XP but because of that Minecraft hopper, I mean a minecart why do I keep confusing minecart with minecraft? I don't know. So that minecart hopper comes from underneath the lava. So like even though it seems like stuff is burning, it's not actually burning because the hopper is so fast. It just picks it up immediately. And because of this half slab, even if we were to walk into it, nothing would happen because we cannot really, you know. Okay. I feel like we've done a couple hours. Ooh, oh my gosh. Yo. We just got the best day in the history of those. Flame one, power four, infinity, and punch two. Oh. 
That's, that's insane. Okay, get out of here, villager. Get out. Yeah, like. Oops, I did not mean to punch you. I meant to, like, you know. Oops. And, like, this is really cute. This is a pretty decent, like, fishing thing. I feel like. Definitely gotta thank JC. I don't know how to figure this out. So, shout out to him, even though it's not really a shout out, because he has like 300. No, he has like 100k subscribers already, so, not really a shout out, just a little thanks. Make it for yourself, so just feel free to use the link in the description. I'm gonna check the stuff. I may or may not have gotten. Yeah, just mainly fish. But even if we were like, if we AFK, I don't really know how to AFK at this, but like, if we just like. You know, fish. Then maybe we can have one or two fishermen that we can sell the fish to. Actually, like if we sell, I think if we sell the fish with like, uh, no way. In the future, like, close the fishermen, so that's pretty cool. And if we ever like get a lot. I mean, we obviously don't have that much wood, like, every single time, but I need wood. I'm just headed to, like, the forest, and I get wood there, so. Even if it's not touching the water, somehow, like, it's working, fishing, so. I mean, I guess it will do what it's gonna do. It's like a click. It's like working. Like, it's just like the second that. It's retracted. I just have to right click again. It's very simple. And it's very efficient. Yeah, this is great. I think in the next episode, we can definitely try normal mode. I feel like normal mode would be a little bit nice to see. Because I'm on peaceful mode and there are no monsters. So it's kind of boring. Kind of boring. There we go. Finally. We're almost at level 20, but I just want to see some of the stuff that we've got. Fire protection through piercing channeling? Okay, we're having an extremely lucky day. This is great. This is really good. Then this network phone I think I've just been staring at us this whole time. I think he has. You know, I think I know the perfect way to end this episode before we, of course, get to level 20. A little harvest.
I mean, it's not really. I'm gonna go get my stack. Oops. We're gonna do like, I think, a stack of each. Or maybe we'll just go full carrots, because, I mean, carrots are good. Carrots are good. I think eventually we can have a melon and a Still good for some villagers. Like, mumbo jumbo. This is gonna be a giant melon oven. I always know that they not be that big, but they will have to be bedrock compatible. Because bedrock version of redstone is pretty much. I feel like we've done a decent job in this investor compartment in the past two episodes. It's, it's, it's pretty nice. It's, it's pretty great to have everything that you need. Like you have XP, you have like the enchantment setup. Ooh, I forgot to move the cows over here. I've got to do that. I'm going to check in on them. Yeah, I have some wheat too that I can give to them. Mm, I need a basket first. So, I'm gonna make some sacks and another pair of sacks and two baskets. I think I'm gonna keep one over here. No picker out where the other one goes. I'll figure it out. So I just realized that if I breed the cows now, then I'm gonna get XP from that, and that's gonna be how I get to level 9. Yeah, screw it. Enjoy. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am hoping to get to at least 10 subscribers by the end of this week. If we can reach that goal, I don't know what I'll do. Give me a suggestion. Hope you guys have a good day today and good.